Hi, I'm Dr. Betty Martin. I'm the developer of the Wheel of Consent. There's lots of free resources online. There's a whole page full of free videos, but I'm going to see if I can give it to you here in five minutes. Ready? Go. The Wheel of Consent is first and foremost a practice. It's a practice in taking, receiving, and giving a part so that it's either you're either receiving, it's all about you, you're still respecting the other person's limits, of course, but it's all about you, or you're giving, now it's all about them. And again, you're still respecting your own boundaries. The Wheel of Consent was developed based on exchanges of touch, and it applies to much more than touch, of course. Um, but we're talking about it here in the, in the context of touch because that's kind of the easiest way to make sense of it and to learn it. The Wheel of Consent came about from two people asking each other these two questions. How do you want me to touch you for three minutes? And how do you want to touch me for three minutes? This is called a three-minute game. It was developed by Harry Faddis. And as soon as you take turns with someone, you'll notice that that creates four different rounds. You can divide the four interactions up by thinking about who it's for. If I'm giving, it's for the other person. If I'm receiving, it's for me. Or you can divide them up by thinking about who is doing. Either I'm doing or I'm the one done to. So now you can see that there's four quadrants created and let's give them names. When I'm doing and I'm giving, it's for you then I call that serving. A lot of people call that giving, but as you'll see in a moment, there's another way to give. And when I'm receiving and it's for me, I'm in the accepting quadrant. Many people will call that receiving, but as you'll see in a moment, there's another way to receive. So I call that accepting. In the serve accept dynamic, the action goes from the server to the acceptor and the gift also goes to the, from the server to the acceptor. This is the dynamic that's very common in lots of situations. This is the dynamic for a massage, for medical care, for helping grandma up the stairs, for bringing soup to your sick neighbor. It's taking action for the benefit of the other person. And this is all happening within the circle of consent, which means it's an agreement that creates that dynamic. And the agreement is, will you, and yes, I will. Will you help me with this? Will you rub my feet? Will you pick me up from the airport? Yes, I will. I can do that at this time. Yes, I will. Um, only for five minutes. Yes, I will. I can do it this way. I can do it that way. So you're still uh, respecting your own boundaries there. The other two quadrants are take and allow. In take and allow, you are, I'm doing, but I'm receiving a gift. I'm doing what I want to do. And the gift that I'm receiving is access to you. You're an allowing. In take and allow, the action goes from the taker to the allower, but the gift goes the other direction. It goes from the allower to the taker. The taker is taking action that they want to take and the allower has given permission. In the serve accept dynamic, the gift is, is the action. In the take allow dynamic, the gift that the allower is giving is access to themselves. They're giving their body. So the question that creates the take allow dynamic is may I? May I play with your hair? May I feel your feet? May I come over and use your hot tub? May I borrow your truck? And the allower says, yes, you may, or yes, you can do that on Thursday, or yes, only to here, or yes, I'm available for this much. I'm not available for that much. So that is the four quadrants. In the doing half, you can see there's two ways to do. You can do for, to benefit the other person in which you're serving, or you can do for your own benefit in which you're taking. And it's important that we have access to both of those in our lives. Likewise, in the done to half, it may be what you want, or it may be what the other person wants that you are allowing. And it's important to know the difference. In the receiving half, there's two different ways to receive. You can receive access to the other person, your intake, or you can receive the gift of their touch. Um, they're scratching you just the way you want it to be scratched. So that is, both of those are different ways to receive. And there's two different ways to give. You can give your action, I'm, I'm scratching your back just the way you wanted, or you can give access to you. Yes, you can play with me in this way. 
So that's the wheel of consent. What the heck does it have to do with anything and who cares? And that's a great question. It's important to remember that it's a practice. It doesn't replace your life. It doesn't apply to every single interaction that you're in, but the dynamics that it shows you do uh, are underlying all kinds of relationships. And why it's helpful is that when you discover that each of the four quadrants feels different to you and you learn how to access each of those four quadrants, then you know when to be selfish and when to be generous and how to tell the difference. And that brings a lot of freedom and integrity into your relationships. And it's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it. Do we make it in five minutes? Oh yeah, I wrote a book about this and a lot more. It's called The Art of Receiving and Giving, The Wheel of Consent. You can find it at wheelofconsentbook.com and get a free chapter. Cool.